all over for the shouting here in Montana, Washington Grizzly Stadium. There was a lot of shouting tonight for the Montana Grizzly fans. You see the final 34-7, to Marty, in a, a game that was totally dominated by really the Grizzly defense. You hit the head on the nail. Total domination really after Sacramento State's first drive. And it is the truth that the Montana Grizzlies football team is getting better and better and better every week. And that will bode well down the stretch and into the playoffs. Into the final two weeks of the season coming up. And let's take a look at the highlights after that Marcus Fulcher touchdown run. Put Sac State up 7 to nothing. Eli Gilman answers the call. He's in the end zone. That ties it up 7 all. And just moments later after a Junior Bergen great punt return, it was Nick Osmo. He runs into the end zone and Montana has their first lead at 14-7. Then near the end of the half, Clifton McDowell, he finds Aaron Fonts dancing along the end of the end zone stripe for a touchdown. And here is the longest play from scrimmage in Montana history of their football program. This is Keelan White, 97-yard touchdown. Marty, you call it ahead of time. It's time to take a shot, and they did. Well backed up. That's always in the front of your mind. If you think you have a chance, and McDowell did a great job, he pumped right there to the corner to get him to trap and turn over the deep ball to the safety, who took up a really bad angle on that play. We talk about total domination, total yards. Montana 547 to 268. Look at the passing yards and the rushing yards. Montana had a couple of players very close to 100 yards. Eli Gilman over 100. Clifton McDowell just a few yards short. And the time of possession, 35 over 35 minutes for the Grizzlies and 24 for Sac State. Bobby Houck, the winningest coach in Big Sky Conference history, picks up win number 124. For Marty Morningweg, I'm Jay Cohn. That's it from Washington Grizzly tonight. Back to you.